Welcome back. Well, if you are looking for a solution for your mission, no matter what it is, large or small, look no further than EWAT. I'm here with the, the whole group, including the president. And I tell you what, very impressed with your entire lineup that you have. As I mentioned, from a small footprint all the way up to a larger helicopter. And you have products that you don't even have represented here that are quite large that we'll talk with Dennis about a little bit later. But uh, company president right here, Darren. Uh, Darren, tell us a little bit about your company. You've been in business for two years in China. Is that correct? This, this two years, our company is um, developed very fast, and we plan to invest 5,000 5, million RMB in UAV industrial park. And along with that, you've actually gained some experience in these past couple of years with the earthquake in uh, China and the different work that you've done with the government. So you've really brought a lot of experience. Can you share that with them? Yeah. Uh, up to now, our UAVs have been used in the following industries. And for example, state grid, power line, civilians, police, police, uh, yeah, military, uh, and uh, also in forest, and also in earthquake, yeah, and also in pipe civilian, gas pipeline civilian. Very good. Yeah. So really, you've had a lot of experience in the past couple of years, and experienced people that you've brought into this UAV world, and really brought some nice products to market. I want to thank you guys for being on, and I'm going to get with Dennis here, and we're going to talk about some of the specifics, nuts and bolts of each of these. Thank you so much, Gene. Darren, thank you. And Jefferson, thank you for being on. Joining me right now is Dennis Fetters, and Dennis, as I understand, you are the director of VTOL, and I tell you what, you are bringing a lot of great products to market. Tell us what we have right behind us here. Well, this is uh, EWAT's uh, latest UAV uh, multi-rotor, which is very portable, folds up nicely, fits into a small container, can deploy very quickly in disaster situations, which we use it all over China for and is very stable, handles up to a lot of wind, can fly up to 30 minutes, carry about a five kilogram payload. So right now you have it equipped with a camera, but you can equip it with infrared or whatever it is you might need. Depending on what they need, we can equip it uh, for any type of function necessary for the customer. Now, um, was this guy here actually used in some of the video that we saw of the earthquake disaster over China? That's uh, unfortunately true. We have two teams that we can send out anywhere in China that can handle any disaster such as earthquakes or environmental disasters uh, that uh, they can assist the victims or the rescuers for uh, eagle eye video uh, anywhere over the disaster scene. And there are just so many different applications for this, you know. A uh, disaster scene, as you mentioned, natural gas pipelines, law enforcement, military, agriculture. And uh, if you don't think that this guy, which is kind of turnkey, comes with an operating system, is big enough, uh, you have a bigger brother here. In fact, you have a, a fixed wing up here. Tell us about it. Well, yes, if you need long legs, in other words, long distance, stay up for a long time. Nothing beats a fixed-wing aircraft. So we have a variety of uh, fixed-wing aircraft. This is uh, our largest one. We have several others smaller to where this can either be ramp launched out of unimproved area and parachute returned, or it can be taken off of an improved runway and landed on that same runway. So we could have a ramp off the back of a car or a truck. This will get us in the air, or as you mentioned, if we have an improved runway, this is going to act like a typical UAV. Yes, not even off of a truck or a car. It's actually portable. We can carry it to the site, unfold it, and launch it on the spot. So this is going to uh, really allow us to have a lot of different types of application, a lot of flexibility, no matter where we want to use even one, as you mentioned, that gives us the long legs. That's correct. You go up in areas like Mongolia where we really need distance and high altitude, a fixed wing performs best in that application. Now, Dennis, a big brother to this guy here, um, another helicopter. Can we go take a look at that? Certainly. Well, Dennis, this looks like it can handle a bigger payload, maybe a greater distance than its smaller brother. Is that correct? Yes. This is our little Z1 unit. It'll carry up to a 35-kilogram payload. 
fly up to about an hour and a half with a small gasoline engine, 17 and a half horsepower. It'll also operate at higher altitudes. Now I notice Ewok's bottom line is dependability, and so it takes that frustration factor out of the equation, knowing that your unit is actually going to return to base after its mission. That's right. In fact, uh, not just dependability, but affordability. That's what UAVs are all about. It adds a value of safety to where the human stays away from the scene. If the aircraft does have a problem, at least there's not a human element involved. Now, not represented here are really bigger versions of these. Uh, EWAT has uh, many sizes, I guess you could say, above and beyond what we see here at the show. The largest UAV I developed in China is the SVU-200, which is a 78 horsepower, uh, fully articulated type UAV uh, that uh, can be used for multi-missions, and it'll carry up to a 200 kilogram payload. So really, we're looking at a company that has a solution for any end user, a lot of flexibility, and no matter if you want just a short flight or really a big payload, you're going to have a solution for them. And Dennis, with that said right now, I know you have to have the attention. All of our viewers out there, what's the best way for them to learn more about EWAT? Well, get on our website, EWAT.com, and you can learn about our products there. Uh, we are just now reaching out to the world market from China, so we'll be improving those websites. We'll be sending out further information, and we'll also be showing our latest developments on larger helicopter payloads. In fact, in the next three years, we'll even be flying our first manned helicopter. Well, interesting enough. Dennis, thank you so much for being on. We appreciate the opportunity. Thank you.